Hello everyone, welcome back to Android Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the Apple Watch Ultra is having overheating issue which is happening for a few of the users and how we can fix this out. So this particular issue can be of many reasons and we are going to talk about one of the possible workaround which can be done and how we can fix this out. So let's dive into this. So the first one is all about, you have to do is you just need to do a force restart on your Apple Watch Ultra. To do a force restart on your Apple Watch Ultra, you have to press this particular button as well as this particular button all together at the same time unless or until you see the Apple logo. So I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to press the wheel icon over here and the power button all together. So that, that's going to bring you to the force restart. So I'm going to press and hold all together. So you keep on pressing it unless or until you see the Apple logo. So I'm going to press this and I have to wait a little bit more. So now I'm going to see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, this is a force restart. Sometimes, you know, we may not have done force restart for a while. So doing a force restart did work out for many users and even Apple itself officially suggests this as to do a force restart on your Apple Watch Ultra, which can fix the issue up. So once you do a force restart on your Apple Watch Ultra, it's going to take a little bit of time to get loaded up. So you have to wait for this. And once this has been done successfully, what you need to do is we just need to do the next few steps, which I'm going to show you right now. So now we have done with the force restart. Now give the respective password and it all looks good. So after trying with the force restart, and even if you're still having the issue, what you need to do is we just need to go over here now from here, we have to turn off the background app refresh, go over here in the settings. Now from here, we have to go to the general. Now keep on scrolling down. And now as you can see, if you keep on scrolling down, you will be able to find background app refresh, select this one. And if it is turned on, you have to turn this off. You can do it in a two way, either you can turn this off or else you can keep scrolling down and you can see there are too much apps running in the background. From this, you can customize yourself, you can turn off some of the apps. For example, if you do not want this, you can turn this off, you can turn this off as well. And even you can go over here, you can turn this off, you can do accordingly whatever your requirement you're having. Or else you can completely go over here at the top and you can even disable completely the background app refresh. Once you're done with this, you can go back and you can see what's the next thing you can be done and whether that's going to solve your issue or not. So if it's not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to turn off the unwanted notifications, which can, which even can cause heating issue. Too much of notifications from all the apps can bring a lot of trouble. So go over here in the settings tab over here. Now, when you go over here, you can go to the notifications. Now from here, as you can see, I have already turned it on all the notifications. So even getting all these notifications same at a time on your Apple Watch Ultra can cause it a heating issue. You go over here at the top, you can turn this off. And down the road, if you wanted to turn this on, you can do this. Just go to the settings, go to the notification and turn on this. That will work for you fine as well. So once you turn this on, you have to now go back and you have to see how we can fix this up by trying. If this is not going to work so far, you have to try two more steps. The next one is all about you have to cross check whether you're having good enough storage on your Apple Watch. Tap over here in the settings. Now from here, go back. This is how it looks like in the settings. Go to the general. Now from here, you have to keep scrolling down. Over here, you have to keep on scrolling down. Go to the storage. Right now, as you can see, there are 6.2 GB of 32 GB. Right now, it is all good for me. And you have to check there are too much apps over here. And if you wanted to delete any apps, if there is no space, you can do this. You just press and hold like this. Okay, I'm going to show you once one more time. Just go to the respective app which you want to do. Just press and hold like this. Now go for edit app and you can delete any apps which would you wanted to from here and you can clear the storage as well. So even after trying with all these things and still the issue is persisting, then what I'm going to request to you is that you should not be using the Apple Watch while charging. Because many people, uh, you know, they just uh, do like this. So that might even cause the issue up. So you have to completely make sure if the watch is having a battery issue, which can even cause the overheating issue. What you need to do is you just need to turn off all the notifications. Like I said, keep the watch to re, uh, get used up. I mean, uh, to get fully recharged. Once after that, just use it. 
or if you're having the overheating issue let it get cooled down a little bit and you can keep this for cooling once after that you can use it and see whether that's going to help you guys or not even after trying if it's still it's not working then you can talk with or book an appointment with apple executive officially and they're going to help you guys out so these are the possible workaround which can be done. and i hope this video is helpful and find the video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye